In this video, I'm gonna introduce you to Python lists, and I'm gonna show you an example of something you can look for in your code that if you see it, you'll realize, oh, I should probably use a list. So I've got a program here using the Python turtle code. If I run it, you'll see that it draws uh, this spiral type pattern, and it chooses a random color uh, each time uh, I don't know if it's each time it draws a leg. Yeah, each time it draws a straight line here, it chooses a random color. You can see some of my code here where you know I import a turtle, import random, things like that. Create my turtle, create my turtle speed, or tell it what speed it should have. And then I set some color variables, and I number those colors one through five. If you ever find yourself writing variable names where it's some variable one, then two, then three, then four, then five, it's most likely that you should be using a list instead. There's a lot more code down below in this program, but we'll get to that in a little bit. So if you've written some code like this and you want to convert it to a list, the first thing you should do is create a new variable. Uh, List names I find is helpful if you make them plural because they contain many things. So a name like colors is a good name for a list. And then you set it equal to, and you create some square brackets. Uh, the square bracket key is between the P and the backspace right above the enter key on your keyboard. And instead of having these five variables right here, we're gonna put the values of these variables inside of the brackets separated by commas. Now we can delete those previous variables. And now I'm gonna scroll down slowly and I'm gonna adjust the rest of my code so that I'm gonna work with this colors list instead of those five variables that I had before. So I have a loop that just determines how many uh, times my code should repeat, how big that square should be that I was randomly drawing. I have some commands that I give to the turtle that I've named pen. I increase the step size. Now this part right here is where I randomly choose a color. I choose a number one through five and then I've got this if, elif, 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 else that's associated with the color variables, color one, two, three, four, and five. So you'll notice how long this is. Like This is a good uh, 10 lines of code, I believe here, more than that really. And I need to, instead of use this, I need to use a list. And you're gonna see how easy this is. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and delete almost all of it. Now I don't have a color variable, I have a colors variable. And that colors is the name of uh, my list. And I can use square brackets, not only I used them above, scrolling up, I used those to create the list and put the initial values into the list. But now I'm gonna use it to get a value out of the list, to access one of those color values in the list. And the way I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna use a number. And R is just a variable that has a value between one and five. That's what I want. I want one of these values between one and five. However, I know that there's actually gonna be a problem with this. Now I'm gonna run it and show you that problem. I got that error almost right away. So it's on this line of code and the error says index error, list index out of range. And what that means is it means the number that we put inside the brackets for the list was outside the range of numbers that we were allowed to give to the list. Now it seems like we should have been able to give one through five because we start here, one, two, three, four, five, we have five values in our list. But if I modify this line right here and I print colors bracket one, and I'm actually just gonna exit right after that so that we don't have to deal with um, the rest of the code running. It printed out green. Green is the second item in the list. So it's important to remember that lists start their index an index is just a number that refers to the different locations in the list. The index starts at zero. So red is item zero, green is item one, blue is two, yellow is three, and purple is four, and that's it. We have no further items in our list. That's the end of it. So instead of grabbing a random number from one to five, I actually need to grab a random number from zero to four. And now our code should run exactly the way it did the first time. 